guys welcome to another video in this store management software tutorial series in this video I'm going to teach you how you can create I mean update the database so we're going to create a new file under store management software folder called update.py so creating files for each and everything like updating adding is not a good practice although we could have done it using these uh, menu bars and creating within and we could have used this other thing by putting functions in one file layouts in one file and managing that so code managing I will be teaching you about code managing in upcoming videos but in this tutorial series I just want you to know about the logic that goes within for creating this kind of software so if you get to know about these logics then Understanding about the code management thing is quite easy, so I will teach you about that in the coming videos. But for now, we will update.py and we are going to copy almost copy the layout. And okay, okay, so we are going to paste it here. And we will copy this uh, as well. And uh, update the database. So we will test it out first. Python update.py. Okay, there's an error called get items. So we don't have the commands here. And so we are going to delete these commands. And uh, we are going to check it again. So, okay, it's good. Mm. But for now, we need another thing update the database. And then we need uh, entry first, label and entry for. ID self dot ID LE we'll say LE and uh, it's going to be label enter ID of the product mm, enter ID let's just say enter ID and it's uh, font font is going to be Arial 18 bold and uh, okay it's not label a and it goes inside master and text is that and we are going to place it self dot id le dot place x equals zero and y equals to 70 so we are going to have to increase this to 120 sorry 170, 220, 270, and uh, 320, 370, and then uh, 420. Okay, this is not 70, this is uh, 120, 170, 220, uh, 270, 320. 370 and 420 let's see there should be an entry box missing so it says id comma again i try to use this font as a method okay this is empty which is quite good for us and uh, what we're going to do is we are going to create the label within so dot id led so it's going to be not a label it's going to be an uh, entry and it's going to be master font area 18 bow we are going to decrease the width uh, this time to maybe uh, 15 and self dot id underscore leb dot place x equals to 400 y equals to 70 
This says unknown option T. So why not T? Okay, that's good. Should be a bit left. Um, 400. 380. Actually, they are using 380. Boy goes to okay. We're going to give it a 10. And we are also going to give a button search self dot button search button inside a master with width is going to be uh, 50. Height is going to be two. And we're going to set the text equals to search and uh, we are going to place in <coughs> x equals to 450 y equals to 70 mm, it should be a bit right 550 and uh, to determine it to be we will say it orange it's kind of like warm line 28 okay mm. yeah it's good search peripherals edit database what is this enter id okay mm. we don't need to put the enter id over here because that was it for that there won't be any errors here and we can change the id because it's the auto generative id and we, we could have done our own custom id but i think that's just okay for a small store uh, okay that's good so now we are going to have to search so we're going to create a function called uh, define Search and it's going to be cell args orgs and uh, pass it and we are going to say SQL. We don't need to pass it once we are just working. SQL equals to it's a string. It's not insert. Select everything from inventory where I think id is in small id equals to question mark so this is a prepared statement and our result equals to c.execute sql and our id is going to take uh, <coughs> self.id underscore leb dot get so since it is going to be a tuple, we need to add a comma here, and we will say for r in the result, self dot n, we'll say n one equals to r. So our uh, zero is the id, one is the name. Okay, it returns name. So similarly, we need a uh, we need to update the stocks, the cost price, selling price, total cost price, total selling price, vendor, vendor phone number. Two, three, four, five, six, sorry, six, seven, eight. Similarly, stocks is in number two. After there is a CP number three, SP number four, Total CP number five, total SP number six, vendor number seven, eight. In fact, M it is it. I think there's an assumed profit as well. So one is the name, definitely. Two is the stock. 3 is the CP, SP, total CP, total SP, assumed profit, 
and then, then we have a vendor vendor form so we'll get these items here and we will do a connection dot commit and we are going to insert into the entries to sorry update cell.name dot underscore e dot insert self dot n1 end so let's try this search where is search yes command equals to self dot search okay Okay, bad entry index sneakers. Okay, there's an error. Let me check here what did I do? Okay. This is working. Okay, there's a problem there. So what will search do is actually it will first delete sorry uh okay e dot uh delete and then it will input so that way there won't be any problems okay batteries okay yes it's working so we'll do the same for the other things as well so let's copy this it's the stocks cost price selling price and then we have the zoom profit vendor stocks cost price selling price vendor name vendor phone number name then then we have the CP CP SP CPS, sorry, there's a mistake here. It's stock. Stock. And then we have CP. CP. Self dot SP. SP. Vendor. Vendor. Vendor phone. Okay, <clears throat> self dot n one for this stock it is n two. For the cost price it is n three. Selling price it is n four. For the vendor name it is n eight and n nine, respectively. N eight and n nine. We'll search one. Okay, sneakers 50, 30, 45, Vivek and company, and the phone number. We will search number two, batteries. So we'll say three, shoes, four, pen, 
five wallets, six, there's nothing, there will be nothing. So that was it for this video, we will further discuss on updating these values or the dynamic values as well, so thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel.